All right, how we doing, Tycoon? Super excited for today's video. Been waiting to make this video a lot and really, really hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, we are going to look at tokens.com. All right, the ticker symbol is Smurf, S M U R F, and it's a stock. Okay, it's a publicly traded stock, it's not a crypto coin. But these people and the people running Smurf, in my opinion, are geniuses by putting this as a publicly traded company that other people can invest in, okay? Um, the CEOs and the people running Smurf are doing what I wish I had enough capital to do, okay? If I had hundreds of millions of dollars, this is exactly what I would be doing. And as their business model, okay, for the Smurf is basically my crypto investment strategy already, okay? so. It's been all over the news lately. I'm going to show you guys a couple of news articles real quick. All right. The first one we're looking at is tokens.com at Solana, Terra, and Anchor tokens to its staking inventory. All right. Um, so, uh, all right, let's read it a little bit. Okay. Smurf, a publicly traded company that invests in revenue generating crypto assets linked to De uh, DeFi, NFTs, and metaverse real estate is pleased to announce it has acquired 10,000 Solana, 22,500 Terra, and uh, 3 million anchor, okay, tokens for the purpose of crypto staking. Well, what's crypto staking? Crypto staking is the environmentally friendly alternative to crypto mining. Um, both platforms perform the same service and end result. However, staking accomplishes this using 99.9% .9 less electricity and with no hardware, okay? Um, staking as an operating platform can also power, uh, power significantly more transactions per second than crypto mining, making it the dominant technology used for high volume processing required in the DeFi and NFT sectors. Okay. Um, and here's another article, okay, uh, where they, you know, close the largest metaverse land acquisition in history. All right. Um, they bought, let's see if it says it here. Okay, yep, so they uh, is proud to announce the acquisition of a 116 parcel estate in the heart of the Fashion Street District within Decentraland, okay, via its subsidiary Metaverse Group, okay? And um, Metaverse Group is basically like their uh, real estate, uh, their virtual real estate company, all right, or subsidiary. But fashion is the next massive area for growth in the Metaverse, okay? Um, Keep that in mind. All right. Sorry for the pause there. Each parcel purchased in this transaction is equivalent to 52.5 square feet, making the acquisition equivalent to 6,090 square feet of land. Um, it was patched, uh, purchased for 618,000 mana. All right. And they're very happy to make history by closing the largest public metaverse land acquisition to date. Uh, these assets will complement the existing portfolio portfolio of Metaverse real estate already held at Metaverse Group, which that's what I was saying. That's their uh, subsidiary that does all their Metaverse real estate. Um, so they're excited to have our subsidiary successfully close this landmark digital real estate transaction. Earlier this year, luxury brands, uh, giants such as Gucci, Burberry, Louis Vuitton, entered the Metaverse through their designer NFTs. Nike, among other brands, has also announced it will be releasing digital sneakers in Nike land. Wow, that's another video I got to make now. Nike land. Anyways, let's go ahead and dive right to their page. So if you go to tokens.com, all right, and you click on the investors tab, you can go to the investors presentation. And I'm basically going to walk you guys through that so you don't have to. And um, basically, this is what made me fall in love with the company. Okay. So I'll go ahead and read it to you guys. Tokens.com is a publicly traded company that owns an inventory of DeFi and NFT based cryptocurrencies through a process called staking. Token.com's inventory of crypto is used to earn additional tokens. Tokens.com is also the majority owner of Metaverse Group, an NFT based virtual real estate owner and developer. OK, that's their sub subsidiary uh, we've been mentioning. All right, let's take a look at the executive summary. A crypto asset returns have eclipsed all other asset classes. This is largely due to the growth in decentralized finance, aka DeFi, and non-fungible tokens, NFTs. Fidelity now recommends a 5% crypto allocation, all right, which is basically them throwing in that big hedge funds and big institutions such as Fidelity are now even recommending you to purchase crypto, all right? The same people who are saying that it's just a trend, that it holds no value, that it's going to zero, 
they're now telling you to at least have 5% of your money in some crypto, all right? So what's the challenge here? Investors are missing out due to the complexity of buying and securing crypto tokens. It's not mainstream friendly. You have to dive through a wormhole on YouTube or on Reddit or on Google to try to figure out about a lot of these, you know, NFTs and crypto and metaverse related things. OK, so the solution to this is tokens.com invest in DeFi and NFT based tokens using a process called staking to generate income. So this is they're taking the challenge that investors have and they're saying, if you give us your money, here's the solution we're going to have to, you know, battle this challenge that you're facing. All right, so they're revolutioning financial services, okay? DeFi refers to crypto-based platforms that facilitate peer-to-peer -peer transactions without the need of a bank, all right? Over 6 million users have already deposited over 100 billion for borrowing, lending, and trading. Faster, less costly, and more profitable, okay? Billions are being invested by Wall Street and Silicon Valley to create new bankless DeFi apps, okay? So DeFi is the future. This is the future of finance. Get in now while you can. Literally, billions are being invested by Wall Street and Silicon Valley to create new bankless DeFi apps. Okay, get in now. Look up the top DeFi plays. Okay, let's move on. So DeFi depends on proof of stake. Blockchains use either proof of work or proof of stake to process crypto transactions. Proof of work is performed by miners, developed in 2008, requires specialized hardware and electricity and is highly criticized for vast energy consumption. Um, proof of stake performed by crypto stakers was created to approve on proof of work. OK, um, staking involves purchasing tokens and using them as collateral to validate transactions. Today, proof of stake is pref the preferred technology for DeFi. Ethereum, the dominant chain blockchain for hosting DeFi, is upgrading from uh, proof of work to proof of stake to improve its processing speeds and carbon footprint. OK. Um, I'll give you a sneak peek. That is called the Beacon Chain, baby. And stay tuned. I will have a video on the Beacon Chain here shortly. Um, but basically, Ethereum is about to have a big, big upgrade, and it's going to be running on the Beacon Chain. It's going to change a lot of things, okay? And they know this, um, and they are investing off of this uh, info as well, okay? So proof of stake versus proof of work. Uh, proof of stake solves the proof of work flaws, requires 99% less energy, over uh, roughly 100,000 transactions per second. Staking investment can appreciate indefinitely versus proof of work. It was created in 2008. It's now outdated. It's got really, really bad high energy consumption, around 15 transactions per second. Come on now. We're doing We're talking about hundreds of thousands. 15? No way. Capital intensive with no residual value. Okay, so it's very capital intensive, basically meaning like you have to put all the capital forward. Okay, um, staking dominance is now accelerating. Okay, DeFi is supercharging staking. Blockchains require stakers like tokens.com to process DeFi and NFT transactions. Staking tokens now represent over 55 or 50% 50 of entire crypto market capitalization. So 50% of the whole crypto market is staked right now. Do you know what that means? That means 50% of the trillion dollar Bitcoin cryptocurrency market is staked. Staking, you have to hold, you're forced to hold for a certain period of time, okay? Six months to a year to more, whatever, whatever you agree on your stake, okay? So six of the top 10 cryptos are staking based up from zero two years ago. JP Morgan estimated uh, staking payouts of $9 billion in 2021, okay, $20 billion in payouts in 2022, and $40 billion by 2025, okay? Um, the actual 2019 staking payouts are closer to $18 billion, so keep that in mind, okay? That's the JP uh, Morgan's estimates um, compared to the actual staking payouts, all right? Um, right here, this is my favorite thing. Tokens.com is one of the only public company with a core focus on staking. Okay, nobody else is doing that. So let's say let's say you don't invest in crypto, you have no idea what DeFi, all of the stuff that I'm talking about. They do. They're the experts, and you can buy their share of their company. The stock is super cheap. It's only a couple dollars. I just dropped a video on the technical analysis of it. So look in the top right-hand corner. If you guys want a video on 
technical analysis, what the chart looks like for tokens.com, click there, okay? So let's go further into the presentation. All right, so staking can provide more upside. Crypto miners have attracted billions from investors. Uh, stakers are, are similarly compensated to provide the same service without huge capex and vast energy use, okay? Um, tokens.com does not have customers. The blockchains we stake compensate us. So this means if there is a Omicron virus, for instance, let's say, all right? Bad news, something comes out and now let's say customers, AKA people, organizations are holding their cash. They're not spending their cash, they're not spending money because they're scared of the pandemic or whatever the bad news is, all right? Tokens.com don't have to worry about that. We're dealing with blockchains. We're dealing with math, algorithms, um, equations, all right? So that's who's paying them. They're getting paid by a blockchain technology with a, you know, basically a pre-negotiated contract is what these uh, is what these stakes are. So no matter what, they're gonna they're gonna benefit. All right. So they are not consumer facing. Tokens.com doesn't develop software or need to acquire users like other DeFi companies. We do not lend our tokens. Custody of our digital assets remains with us. We restake the tokens we earn to compound our returns and build our inventory. We are primed for the next crypto bull market. Oh boy, they are so primed. So primed, baby. Next crypto bull market? Smurf is gonna be at like $10 a share or something like that, I'm telling you. Um, NFTs are exploding in popularity, okay? NFTs are unique digital certificates built on blockchain technology. They're used in art, collectibles, music, and gaming. Most commonly built, stored, and traded on Ethereum blockchain, okay? Um, here we can see a little report, NFT sales surged to 10.7 billion in Q3. All right, um, so they are staking 24-7, 365. And this was recently updated, okay? So I'm glad I made a couple, uh, I waited a couple days to uh, make this video because as this article said, okay, they just added Solana, Terra, and Anchor tokens, tokens to its staking. So these, uh, you know, not all of these were originally there. All right, so with that being said, they are staking 24-7, 365, Ethereum, Polkadot, Solana, Oasis, Terra, and Shiba Inu, okay? Um, I I really like all of these. I really, really like Polkadot, Solana. I like those. Um, I currently have some of those, okay? I'm holding those. Those are long-term holds. Oasis Labs, um, it's an native token. It's called Rose. I've made a ton and ton of Rose um, stock analysis videos. They are in talks. Um, if they haven't already partnered with Facebook, AKA Meta Platforms, uh, they're in talks to partner with Facebook slash Meta Platform. So Facebook is getting into the crypto world and they're doing it through Oasis Labs, uh, the Rose coin. So definitely look at that. I love to see that things that I think are good long-term investments, tokens.com is freaking staking it 24-7, 365. So I'm even more bullish on Oasis Labs and Rose now. Um, you know, I've been bullish on Ethereum, Polkadot, Solana. Um, Shiba Inu is great. Okay. Um, yeah, that's technically what some people may call a shit coin, but you know, if you staked Shiba Inu last year and you know, you staked it for a year, you're up massively insane right now. So definitely keep that in mind. Okay. Um, and Terra. All right. Uh, I haven't dropped any videos on Terra, so look for a Terra video in the future. Okay. But yeah, so basically they're staking 24, 7, 365. And all the tokens that they get from staking, they pour back into staking. All right, so Metaverse is the next mega trend. Metaverses are 3D virtual online cities where users navigate through avatars, examples being Roblox and Minecraft, okay? COVID shutdowns amplified the use of Metaverses, attracting millions of teenagers and adults. Um, people engage in the same activities as in real life. Um, and Decentraland, a Metaverse, has hosted virtual fashion exhibitions with Adidas where designs were auctioned as NFTs. Musicians also perform in the space selling tickets and merchandise as NFTs. All right, so here's a couple of the people that are already very big in it. Adidas, Balenciaga, Gucci, we mentioned those already. Atari is big on it. Atari has a whole, they bought a whole casino. They have a freaking crypto casino where you can go in there and gamble and lose your money and give it to Atari. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, 
you got Smurf buying the fashion district, okay, to, to, to try to partner with Gucci, Balenciaga, Adidas, and all these fashion shows. I wouldn't be surprised if you see them get into some of the concert uh, real estate and some of the concert land areas, wherever they're hosting those concerts, those virtual concerts on uh, the central land. I would look for them to, you know, I, I could see them possibly in the future buying it and renting it out to, let's say, Travis Scott, who wants to hold a metaverse concert, all right? Uh, the Metaverse Group is their subsidiary, okay? Uh, Tokens.com is the majority owner, owner of Metaverse Group, an NFT-based digital real estate company that owns and develops Metaverse land. Uh, physical and virtual real estate have scarcity. Each Metaverse has a limited number of NFT parcels, which are like acres of land, but in, a, in the NFT sphere. As more people congregate, land becomes highly sought after because of the increasing visitor traffic. The most popular properties are in downtown dris districts, just like a real city. A huge advantage that metaverses have over physical spaces is that they can reach far more people. This is a game changer for advertisers and large corporations to market their goods and services via virtual storefronts to demographics they usually miss. All right. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Uh, so here's our strategy summary. OK, they identify large macro trends and movements in crypt crypto. OK, not little micro trends, big picture macro trends. All right. They do this through DeFi and crypto staking, NFTs, and the metaverse. Then their strategy is to purchase digital assets that could increase significantly in value because of these trends, such as infrastructure tokens and metaverse real estate. All right. And then they generate re revenue from those assets. Um, you know, the staking pays itself. Okay. The staking pays you. And then rental income. All right. So they have all this virtual real estate. And then they will generate rent revenue renting this out, okay, through rental income. Um, so how tokens.com makes money, all right? We capitalize on the staking opportunity. We use our balance sheet to purchase tokens and stake them. The staking process rewards us with additional tokens, which are reflected as revenue. We stake 24-7, 365, and restake the tokens we earn to compound our returns. We own our staking digital assets, okay? Their tokens are DeFi and NFT focused. Our inventory is always staking to earn additional tokens and our inventory is marked to market every quarter and reflected in our comprehensive income, okay? So they benefit both from staking revenue and potential inventory appreciation, all right? So I really hope you guys appreciate this uh, deep dive into tokens.com, the Smurf uh, stock ticker. If you do, please give me a like. Comment down below. Let me know you enjoyed this video. Let me know if there's any other videos you guys want me to make, um, tutorials you want, strategies, the next big crypto uh, coin or the next big token or just any good metaverse investments that you guys have. Uh, really into those, really focusing on those a lot. And I think they have some great long-term potential um, along with short-term potential too for trading and, and things like that if you, if you are a trader versus a long-term investor, okay? So thank you guys for watching and I'm out.